We are coming closer to another volleyball season here at Mizzou, and the defending SEC champions reside right here in Columbia, Missouri. We're joined by head coach Wayne Kreklow and coach. Defending champions bring a lot back from last year. I know you're early in the planning process for this season, but so far, what do you see? Well, I, I like our energy. I like our focus and concentration. You know, it, it's it's good. We've got a lot of people back, so we've got a lot of pieces. Um, you know, what's what's going to be a big challenge for our group this year is we lose one of the best ball control players in the league the last four years, Carly Kahn. Um, and she did a lot of things for us other than just, you know, the, the, the hitting and, and uh, blocking numbers. So one of the big challenges that we've got is we've got to find out who's going to step up and be able to assume some of that role. I don't expect anybody uh, to be able to come in and, and exactly replicate what she could do, but we've got to find another way uh, to get that job done. You do bring back one of the best players in the Southeastern Conference a season ago, Melanie Crow. We all know her story, what a great season she had coming back from the concussions a year before. How does she take it to the next level this season? You know, I think w what I've seen from her so far is a, is a real commitment to, I think, being more of a, um, of a selfless kind of centered person. Uh, and by that I mean, I think last year when she came in, uh, you know, there was a lot of things going on, you know, with for her that was tough um, on a lot of different fronts. And I think she's done a really awesome job of kind of working through a lot of that personally, which I think I see right now is allowing her, I think, to be a little bit more outwardly focused and be able to be a little bit more of a help to others around here, helping make other people uh, better and being able to give feedback to teammates a little bit more. She's not alone in returning to a team that, as we mentioned off the top, is the defending champion in the league. You've also got players like Alyssa Munlin, Kira Larson, Courtney Eckenrode, just to name a few. When you bring the core back of a championship team like that, what's your message to them about, hey, being even better than a squad that won the league and went down to the round of 16 in the tournament a year ago? You know, and that's that's a that's a good point. And I think these guys, I I think you know one of the the, the fortunate things for for me and this group right now is we've got a lot of really intelligent people. <laughs> so I think they get it. They're thinkers, and so I think they fully understand and are aware of how difficult it is to replicate uh, something like last year. You know, a lot of things have to fall into place, and I know they've been working really hard. Uh, for quite a while now since the end of last season. So I think these guys are fully aware of what else the league is bringing in this year, who's going to be good and what kind of an effort it's going to take to be able to perform in that kind of level. Tell me about the newcomers you add to the mix. Well, we're really excited about uh, right now we've, we've got three uh, that we know are going to be with us this next season. Um, uh, Leck from St. Louis, who was uh, one of the players of the years here in the state of Missouri, a top 50 recruit, outside hitter. Uh, extremely athletic, very, very coachable, not very tall, uh, but she jumps out of the gym and is a real power hitter. So I think she's going to be really fun to watch. Um, Dariana Hollingsworth, uh, one of our Puerto Rican kids, uh, it brings a lot of experience in her position. She's a really good all-around player, 6'2". Uh, just does everything real well, very smooth, but still very athletic. And then um, um, Andrea Fuentes is one of the setters, another Puerto Rican girl that came in uh, who's got a lot of experience. And so I think between the three of them, I think it's a really, really good class that we're really excited about. Coach, we appreciate your time. Good luck as you continue to get ready for the rest of the season. Thank you. That's that Coach Wayne Kreklow. Visit mutigers.com for the complete schedule, including television opportunities and your chances to watch the defending SEC champions right here at the Hearn Center throughout this season.